Worst floods to hit Chennai in a century have brought out the best in its citizens. While the volunteer-driven rescue and relief work has been noticed by the entire country, India Inc. is also joining hands with citizens to get the city back on its feet. Jude Sanath reports. It began with a Facebook post over the weekend by Polaris founder Arun Jain. The need of the hour was blankets, and plenty of them, for an estimated 8 lakh people who had lost their homes to the Chennai floods. The Chennai chapter of the Jain International Trade Organization, which Arun represents, sent an SOS on social media and got a heartwarming response from its members in Bangalore. These volunteers got together, they went from shop to shop, they collected the blankets and put it on the trucks and they dispatched it. By the, that evening, 50,000, 53,000 had already come uh, in one day and the rest of it is all on its way. So we're going to continue this project till whenever whatever is required uh, in Chennai. In 24 hours, the organization began inviting NGOs to partner with them in distributing the blankets to Chennai's worst affected areas. In a couple of days, the organization managed to mobilize 5 lakh blankets. Today we have 300 NGOs which are working, 300 forms have been filled up as the requests have come in. We received almost uh, 2,000 calls since uh, last night. The last week has seen Chennai's business houses get together to provide relief to flood victims. While multiplexes and malls opened their doors to the homeless, several cafes also invited stranded people to walk in for shelter and a bite. Taking a cue from rival Ola, NTL Taxi sent out 15 manned boats to rescue the stranded, while portals like BharatsPatrimony.com began an online initiative, ChennaiNeedsHelp.org, to streamline relief requirements and supply. The first big monetary contribution came from Cognizant Technology Solutions, which announced a contribution of 260 crore rupees to the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's Public Relief Fund. Soon after, Hyundai announced a contribution of 2 crore rupees, while State Bank of India also contributed 1 crore towards the fund. We realized there's a lot of stuff coming in, but there were not, you know, enough volunteers to go in and, you know, give these things out. So we started off as a very small thing with like 10, 15 people, and then, uh, you know, these uh, Facebook and Twitter and all that actually helped us a lot in getting people uh, into the system. In the last week, there's been a lot spoken of and written about the spirit of Chennai, as its citizens have fought back to recover from the city's worst tragedy in a while. Heartwarmingly, that story of resilience has now reached Chennai's corporate setup even as the city begins a long walk to normalcy. In Chennai, this is Jude Sanasi.